Hi and welcome to another gouache video. This little time lapse paint with me uh, was heavily inspired of someone on TikTok. I will leave her and my TikTok in the description below. I saw so many of these pieces and I thought, you know what, we'll try again with the gouache. I do really enjoy using gouache, I just, there's something about it, it's not that great, but you know, it comes with practice as everyone will always tell you, so. Yeah, I did this mirror image portrait of a girl. I started with a very orangey pink background. And yeah, I found that really fun to do, doing the really bright base layer and leaving bits around it so that you can still see it. I think it worked as a really cool highlight and it certainly adds a bit more character to the painting and gives it a little bit less of a, oh, it's a little bit of a dodgy, realistic kind of look, which it is in reality. I really like how that you can actually tell that it's a mirror, at least I think you can. It might be that I keep staring at it, but there are certain bits that are kind of annoying me, so I thought I'd just go through that very quickly. The mirror image, I think because of the face mask and just the way I painted it with the outline in orange, it looks a little like um, her face is a lot bigger than it actually is and it just it doesn't quite align with the actual one. I think if you look closely it doesn't look that bad but from afar she looks a little, I don't know, trolley. Like she's got like a giant jaw kind of thing. Definitely something to look at in the future. I think I might have rushed my initial sketch of the mirror image version so that's probably why it ended up not really going to plan too well there. I really like the colour of the face mask and the walls. I don't know, I really like that kind of bluey greeny colour anyway, but I thought it worked really well and I liked adding the white bits to her. I thought that her left or right eye went quite well. Very simple. Um, I'd certainly be in a completely different position if I didn't have that dark brown himmy gouache. But yeah, the other eye looks a little bit dodgy. I think I might have done her pupil just a little bit too far to the left. I think it's one of those things that once you start looking at it too much, it kind of gets worse and you see even more issues and whatnot. But overall, I'm quite happy with it. One point that I'm shocked by is her um, shoulders and that, and also her hair. Usually these are the worst features of my paintings. I'm awful at her. I just, I can never get it to have any character. It just either looks like I leave it half finished or it just doesn't really have anything about it. It doesn't look very realistic and it's just a bit flat. But I mean, this isn't that good, but I quite like how it's dyed blonde. I initially thought how annoying that was gonna be but I actually really enjoyed it and I think it doesn't look too bad if I do say so myself. But yeah, I like her hairstyle. I like that in the mirror image you can see a bit more of it. Um, yeah, it kind of resembles a bit of my own hair at the same time, so yeah. Overall, I'm quite happy with this painting and I hope that you enjoy watching the little time lapse of it. I like watching videos like this when I paint, I'm not sure about you. But I don't know, it always kind of inspires me. And if I'm not painting or drawing when I see one of these videos, I certainly want to be. So hopefully this somewhat inspires you and you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to leave a like, maybe subscribe, because if you can see on the left side, I I have a bit of like a unfinished gouache painting. What's the surprise? But hopefully I will have a video out very soon where I finish that got to actually paint it first but yeah if you're interested to see that don't forget to keep your notifications on and yeah I think I'll stop rambling here thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one bye